This is Total Growth Investing, where price growth is not enough. Dividend growth is not enough. We want to find stocks that grow in both of these categories. And if we can find them, we can beat the market. Please remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Nothing I say on this YouTube channel or anywhere else on social media should be seen as financial advice. This is my opinion and speculation based on my experience and my research. Please don't place trades based on the opinions of others. Base them on your strategy your, and base your trades on your own research and due diligence. Good luck. This series of videos will be doing a basic review of the top stocks on my Total Growth Investing ranked watch list. I have 673 stocks on that list, and I want to focus on the top 10. This is my Total Growth Investing stock ranking data list. It evolves and changes daily. Sometimes we get surprises. On 627, June 27th, I updated the numbers for Johnson Outdoors and it landed at number 9. What is Johnson Outdoors? I decided to find out. Johnson Outdoors, find your awesome. That's their catchphrase. They are based in Racine, Wisconsin. They were an expansion of the J.C. Johnson Companies into the outdoors industry in 1970 when Samuel Johnson bought Minn Kota Motors. Many acquisitions later, that's the name of the game, and several name changes, Johnson Outdoors Company is currently run by his daughter Helen. The Johnson family took the company public in 1987. At the time it was called Johnson Worldwide Associates. They started paying a dividend in 2007, but they were caught by the financial crisis and they stopped after six quarters. They started paying again in 2013. Their dividend growth is really nice. What do they do? They currently sell outdoor adventure equipment under many different brands. Camping, fishing, diving, watercraft. Scuba Pro is international. Minn Kota. That was their first acquisition. Humminbird. We'll see that. Their stock price, $90.75. Decent price, under 100 Are they a household name for outdoor enthusiasts? Very likely. Who are their customers? Retail and wholesale. Well, let's go to Amazon. Here's Humminbird. Map cards for outdoor enthusiasts like hunting and fishing. They've got all kinds of stuff. And any of the brands, you can do the same thing. Let's go to diving. Scuba Pro, world's most respected dive brand, gold standard. I used to be a scuba diver. They sell top-notch stuff. Where? U.S. and around the world. Let's go back. Our company our locations. So here's their headquarters, Racine, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Georgia, Alabama, Ontario, New York, and Scuba Pro all over the world. Australia, Belgium, France, Germany, Hong Kong, etc. Switzerland, Spain, and of course online. Market cap almost a billion dollars. 
Consumer Discretionary Leisure Products. Let's take a look on Seeking Alpha. First thing to look at is price. So here's their price over 10 years. They started around $11 in July of 2010. They're currently at 90.75. Total return compared to the S&P 731.16. Looks like they peaked in September of 2018. They've sort of been going up and down, but still that's a nice return. Let's look at dividends. Dividend yield, really low. But what matters is the growth rate and the potential for growth. Their payout ratio is down at 16.71%. They've been growing for six years because they've been paying for six years. Let's look at their history. Here's growth, 15 20. Here's the six quarters that I mentioned, 2007 and 2008, and they started paying again in 2013, and it's been growing ever since. Yield on cost is going up over time. That's always a good sign. Here's the dot-com. Here's the financial crisis. Somebody got in a really good price. So they're getting 13%, maybe a little higher. Dividend news. Their next dividend will pay on July 23rd, 17 cents a share. Ex-div date July 8th, that's next week if you want it. Price return, green across the board. Total return over 10 years, 718.58. That's nice. But how are they for valuations? Thank you to Torsen for adding Johnston Outdoors to DividendStocks.Cash. Let's take a look. According to his metrics, dividend stability, 0.83. Earning stability, 0.43. Not that great. They've had some ups and downs. What else we got here? Cash flow stability, 0.69. Revenue stability, 0.88. But, again, green across the board. That's nice. All right, let's take a look at the valuation graph down here. I'll set this for 10 years, because that's where the best data is. Currently, 90.75, yeah, they're a little bit overvalued. The fair value has them about here, about 76. But we don't have estimates going past 2021. It's really hard to estimate how things are going in this economy. So maybe it's not the best time to buy, but 75 versus 90? I don't know. Do you think people are going to get outdoors? I think they might. Let me know in the comments what you think about Johnson Outdoors. All I know is it's number nine. So that's why I'm doing this video. Give me a like in the comments. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. 
If you liked this video, please click the like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll be recording more stock reviews like this on my top ranked total growth stocks on a regular basis, so be sure to hit the bell to get notified when I post a new one. If you want me to do a specific review, please feel free to let me know on the discussion tab here on YouTube or on my Facebook page. I'm always looking for stocks that can help me and you beat the market over the long term.